Hey, what's happening, guys? Hope everybody's doing well. Uh, Dragonflight is coming out tomorrow. So I just kind of wanted to make a video for those of you that are still using or plan on using LVY. I wanted to get you guys all set up and go through the installation process with downloading the client as well, so that this way you could just go in and update it without having to come back to this site. You could just download the client and it'll just be easy updates um, moving forward through the patches. Also, an easy tip to kind of navigate through LVY once you get in there, it's a simple right click and it'll take you right to where you're looking to make adjustments to. So if you already installed all this stuff and you're and you're good on the installation process, just go right to the end of this video. Like I said, literally just a, a right click your mouse um, on a specific thing to bring you to that section so you don't have to look for anything really anymore. But yeah, let's get started on this. So first off, you're going to go to Tuck UI and it's just going to give you the, the latest version here. What I would do first is just come up to clients go to either Mac or window, whatever it is you have. Um, and it's going to bring you over hither. And then you're just going to download this. It's not going to look all this crazy. Usually it's just going to be a, a few things to really update, but you're going to download this client. And this is what's going to keep you from really having to uninstall and reinstall moving forward. You'll just be able to update from this. It's going to look like this. And as you could see here, I actually have uh, a few things that need to be updated. And I, now I could just simply click this button and LVY will get updated and you don't have to worry about files or extracting anything moving forward. That's why this client is just a huge upgrade. You may need to sign in, so do what you have to do on that end. And for those of you that just need a regular installation, let's just go through the steps to get you installed here. So let's go back. So again, this is the homepage here. Make sure you're at the latest version of LVY and you would just click into this button here. And then if you could see, it'll just pop up in this bottom left-hand corner, voila me down there um, and then you could just do show in folder and your folder will pop up with the zip file so once this pops up here you can just go right into your battle net whatever and then you can go into options head right into show and explorer and this is pretty much just going to take you immediately to the correct file path for where you need to drop this stuff off. And then you can, depending on what you're doing this for, you can do classic. It, it's it's gonna be the same thing going forward. So you can go classic, interface, add-ons, and drop it in there. Or it's gonna be for us, for me, it'll be retail, interface, add-ons, and this is exactly where you need to go. So from here, you would just copy this. So copy this, um, this top link here. This way, when you go back to your original file, right, so, for this tuck UI, um, you're just gonna right click. And when you do extract all, it's just gonna ask you where do you wanna drop these files off to. But since we went in and we already have the path to where we need to go, we could just copy this right in. Um, and then we can extract. And that will just drop off all the files that are needed for your LVY setup. And, and that's it, you're done, you, you'll be set up. If you have some old files, it may ask you, you may need to like overwrite them, just accept it, it'll be fine, it'll just replace and delete whatever you have and it's not going to mess with your your interface or anything like that um so just go ahead and, and accept uh, i'm not going to extract this because i already have it all set up uh, but this is the file path that you're going to want to take to get that handled and once you have that all set up uh, we could jump into wow and here it just shows out of date up to date awesome and then what i can do is just you could just pretty much go in and this says out of date perfect so we can just go ahead and update that little bar will let you know that stuff is updating Boom, everything's up to date. So that's what makes this client so fantastic is that you don't have to ever go in or, and swap things around. Uh, you don't have to like deal with like extracting files or, or deleting old and bringing in the new. Um, it's all right here, click of a button. You'll be able to keep it updated for patches to come. All right, so let's jump into WoW and just take a look at LVI itself. All right, so we're in WoW um, and you should be able to just to do uh, slash BC and everything will pop up here. Now, this is the important part that I was talking about that I just learned. Um, you can go into toggle anchors and here's all your good stuff. So you have all these options here. So you have unit frames, which would be, you know, your party frame, individual frames, party, pet, target, target, a target, um, yours, all this good stuff. And it's a lot. Um, but what makes this nice and easy is that when you go into the toggle anchors, um, you can right click on any of this stuff and it'll bring you directly to that path. So I just right clicked on two party frames here and it brought me right into unit frames, right into party and right into general. And this is where you can set up your party frames to, you know, 
So it's 144, so I can mess with the width, I can mess with whatever. And that makes it super easy to just find exactly what you're looking for and make the adjustments you need without actually having to like go through and, oh, is it name plates or is it tool tips? No, if you want to mess with your cast bar, right? Um, boom, your target, my target cast bar is up here. So I can just right click that and it'll bring you right to that target cast bar. Um, and you don't have to go mess around and look for exactly where you need to go. So again, it's just EC, right? Uh, toggle anchors, you have all your anchors here and then you can go to any part that you want to adjust. Um, and again, here's the target frame and you just right click it and it'll bring you directly to that path. But this way you don't have to fiddle around and mess with it. Again, uh, player cast bars here, I can just right click and it'll bring you right to that path to make any adjustments you need. Yeah, so I just kind of wanted to go over, again, the installation process. The Tuck UI client is amazing just to keep everything up to date and not have any headaches when patches do come out. Uh, and then just this little tip here for, for when you guys are trying to make any adjustments to the size of your unit frames or, or anything really, you just come right in here, right click whatever you're looking for, boss frames, and it'll bring you right to where you need to go. So I hope you learned something here. Um, thanks so much for hanging out and I will talk to you all in the next one. Take it easy.